are you an influencer? Hello, this is Reinhard von Hennix. And the question is not only whether you are an influencer, because we all would like to influence somebody, right? So the question is, are you an influencer in the means of the German jurisdiction, where a couple of days ago, a judgment was rendered by the Oberlandesgericht Braunschweig to require an influencer who posts information on social media to label this as advertising. Caution, advertising. This is not for the private entertainment of the poster, this is advertising. No, I'm exaggerating a little bit. All they wanted to have is a piece of word that this is an advertising. Why is it relevant? It is relevant because the influencer tendency right now seems to mix the clear line between a personal opinion, between a referral, between advertising, as well as between journalistic input. And when this line is crossed over, so the German court, it has to be labeled as advertising. Is this right? I believe it is right to identify advertising as advertising and to call an influencer an influencer for a good reason. If they're influencing something, then they should label it if they get money for it. If they are influencing it, for example, because you are reposting this morning using because you like it, you don't get money for that. So please go ahead and do it. I would love to hear how much postings you do and how maybe my influence will grow one day. But for right now is if you get money, then it's your job. And if it's your job, then you should label it as advertising. Take care.